Hey guys, it's Sam and today I'm going to give you a tour of my TBR shelf. So I know many of you enjoy bookshelf tours. I don't enjoy watching them and I've only filmed I believe one and never again. I mean never say never because I am doing a good job of like culling down my book collection of like my red books and stuff but they are a bear to film and edit and I hate them. But I did think it'd be kind of interesting to show you guys what books I do have on my physical TBR. A lot of you ask if I'm going to be reading a certain book or whatever and I feel like if I show you what is currently on my physical TBR these are the books I'm going to read the soonest obviously and I have a lot of goals related to my TBR which I will link my goals video on the screen for 2020 so you guys can see what things I'm really prioritizing but I have one small shelf of books. I have 38 books currently on my TBR as of the day that I'm filming this. So I don't have a, a huge physical TBR. One of the goals that I've had for a couple of years now is to get this down to a manageable level. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys what I'll be reading soon so you can see what things that you're interested in that I might be reading in the next few months. The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, which I'll be reading this month for Tom Topple. The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Fate of the Fallen by Kel Cade. The Phoenix Empress and The Warrior Moon by K. Arsenal Rivera. God's Grave and Dark Dawn by J. Kristoff. By the way, if you guys have a God's Grave in the UK cover that matches this edition, because this is the edition that I have for the paperback for Nevernight and for Dark Dawn, I would appreciate it. So, comment. DM me anything because I can't get on book depository in this size. But if y'all have it, let your girl know. Winter Wood by Shay Earnshaw. Shore Fall by Robert Jackson Bennett. King's Bane by Claire Legrand, which I do want to read soon, but I kind of want to reread Furyborn. The Killing Moon by N.K. Jemisin, which is another book that I plan to read for Tom Topple. Winter of the Witch by Catherine Arden. Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb, which I'm currently listening to on audiobook. Abaddon's Gate by James S.A. Corey. Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan. The Fate of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. Storm of Locust by Rebecca Roanhorse. The Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch, which I do plan on reading this year if they release a release date for The Thorn of Ember Lane, which is book four. The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. Black Powder War by Naomi Novik. The Wise and the Wicked by Rebecca Podos. The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. The Silvered Serpents by Roshni Chakshi. This is an arc of a book that's not yet released. I'm putting it off because the release date got pushed back and I don't want to have a situation in which I can't talk to anyone about it. <laughs> the Slow Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Rothfuss. Dark Shores by Danielle L. Jensen. Realm of Ash by Tasha Suri. Crier's War by Nina Varela. The Glass Hotel by Emily St. John Mandel. The Queen of the Conquered by Case and Callender. A Sorrow Fierce and Falling by Jessica Cluis. The Raven Tower by Anne Leckie. The Black Prison by Brent Weeks. The Will in the Wilds by Charlie N. Holmberg. Blood Upon the Sand by Bradley Baleo. If you guys have the size that matches this one and you know how to access it, let me know. Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. The Night Jar by Deborah Hewitt. The Immortalist by Chloe Benjamin. And The Beautiful by Renee Adier. Now those are all the books that are on my immediate TBR. I do have a small stack of books that are technically on my TBR, books that I do plan to read probably at some point, but I don't feel like I'm in the mood for anytime soon or I'm waiting for the next book in the series to be released before I want to read this one or some kind of feeling of like I don't want to read something so heavy. So I have a number of books that kind of a lot of them lean like a little more scary or a little more like graphic that because of the great anxiety flare of fall of 2019 I still don't quite feel like I'm ready to read yet. Although I can get back into some general fantasy some of the dark stuff I'm kind of like ugh. So I want to show you those to just say that I do have them but they're not top priority right now. Ruthless Gods by Emily A. Duncan. This one will probably get moved to the general TBR shelf like in the spring sometime but I'm just not quite in the mood to read like graphic body horror right at this current moment. The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. I am not going to read this brick of a book until we have a third book announced. The Devouring Grave by Christina Lynn Herman. This isn't necessarily one that I feel like will be super scary but I kind of want to read it more towards the fall so I'm just kind of putting it in this like eh, category. House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron A. Craig. This is this is spooky so I'm not reading it right now. The Queen of Sorrow by Sarah Beth Durst. This is book three in the Queens of Renthea series and I don't have the first two books but I want to read this series. I just wanted to mention that to you guys so that you know that I do want to read this series. Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James. I do want to read this but I hear it's heavy and I just don't know if I want to do that right now. I want to get a lot of these other books read and then probably pick up this one when I don't have to sit with something heavy 
and have these other books waiting for me, I'll probably read it then. And lastly, Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I am very much on the fence about reading this book possibly ever. This has some very triggering content very very triggering content to a lot of things and I'm just like not sure if I want to read it. I've also heard a lot of mixed reviews so I feel like if it had triggering scary content I would maybe push through it if everyone was like this is amazing but people either seem to love it or hate it and a lot of people are like in the middle to hating it so I'm just kind of sitting on this one for a while just kind of like seeing how I feel and if I want to put myself through the triggers of reading this it's weird to have a Lee Bardugo book that I'm not like instantly picking up, but I was in a, not a good mental health spot when I got it. And I don't know if I want to potentially fling myself back into that spot for a book that a lot of people are describing as mediocre or disappointing. So that is it. Those are all the books on my physical TBR. Comment down below and let me know what books you are most excited about me reading soon. All these books ideally, especially the books that were on my actual shelf and not the ones that are like, I don't know. All those books I plan on be having read within the next year. So let me know which books that you feel like I should prioritize, which books you're really excited to hear my thoughts about. I'm very curious. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.